COVID-19 is caused by a virus that spreads primarily through the air and enters our bodies through our nose, mouth, or eyes. When inhaled, the tiny viral particles can reach the air sacs in our lungs, directly leading to our bloodstream. Viruses that transmit as airborne particles, such as the viruses that cause COVID-19 in measles, pose a significant risk as they can squeeze into small places, nearly 10,000 times smaller than a human hair, travel long distances, up to 20 to 30 feet, and stay active in the air for at least four hours. Figuring out how to assess the risk of getting infected with or spreading COVID-19 in any situation is your number one tool in keeping yourself and others healthy and safe. We don't know how much or what kind of strain of COVID-19 will make us sick or worse, and there is no way to test what strain we were infected with until we are already sick. But we do know how people catch COVID-19 and how it spreads and how we can reduce the potential for exposure. How? By remembering the four Ds and implementing them with a simple scale to help you manage risk. Duration, density, distance, dilution. The four Ds help us understand and reduce the risk associated with the potential airborne viruses people are breathing in and the indoor spaces they occupy. You are about to take a short quiz to tell you what your organization's potential risk is and what you can do in your workplace to help address it. We will ask you questions about duration, how long are people in your building space typically indoors? The longer time spent indoors, the more the air becomes filled with invisible airborne particles. Density, how many people are in your building space? How many of them are not wearing masks? How many people are sick and not showing signs? and are or can be assumed to be unvaccinated. Few people properly wearing masks, low vaccination rates, and people who are sick and not showing signs increase the risk of getting infected. Take a few minutes to answer these questions to determine your organization's risk. Pause this video now. Go straight to the link in the description and complete your risk assessment quiz. You will now have a score, an A, B, or C. This score reflects your organization's risk of COVID-19 transmission among people inside the indoor space. It will help you determine where to focus on protecting your organization and your community from airborne diseases like COVID-19. Your score will include specific actions for you to take to help manage the risk of transmission. When reading your score, you need to understand three concepts. The source, this is the person who is infected with COVID-19 and is spreading the virus through breathing, talking, sneezing, coughing, or singing, with or without showing signs. Even a vaccinated person infected with COVID-19 can spread the virus. The pathway. The pathway is the route the airborne virus particles travel through the air from the infected person to you or another healthy person. The receiver. This is you or the individual who could get sick with COVID-19 from the source. Now, remember the four Ds? Density and duration help to determine your risk. Dilution and distance can help manage it. Dilution. Being outdoors is relatively safe compared to being indoors, thanks to how easy it is to dilute the virus due to more open space, moving air, and the aid of sunlight to stop the virus. When indoors, sunlight can't help inactivate the virus, but adding moving air, either naturally, through open doors and windows, or artificially, using an HVAC system or a standalone HEPA air filter is still an important way to reduce the risk of transmission. Distance. Because the further you are away from the infected person, the lower your risk of getting infected. The relative distance between one person and another is a risk factor to consider alongside duration, dilution, and density. Keeping the four Ds in mind, determine your score. Your results will outline clear and specific actions to help manage the risk of transmission through dilution and distance. Lastly, you can use this risk assessment tool for the different scenarios present in your organization to ensure that you are properly reducing risk and protecting your workers and your community.